Hello, Fear the Meerkat here. Welcome to another episode of Let's Play um, Legend of Zelda the Minish Cat. Um, so, uh, rather unfortunately, I'm having to re record this because the sound didn't work the last time. But never mind. Hmm, I've never seen an outfit like that before. Are you a. Oh, Mark, it's been quite some time since any humans came here. My name is Frestari. I watched the Abbey as long as, as well as the Shrine to the North. You seem to be having some trouble with our language, don't you? You could use a Jabba nut. It will allow you to understand our tongue. You should be able to find one in the barrel house just south of here. Yeah, I suppose it makes sense that they would build their houses out of um, barrels and uh, various other objects. I hope you don't mind my um, coming in here and borrowing a... Yeah, that was a stupid thing to do. Coming in here and borrowing a jabba nut. Oh, Link! This must be the jabba nut for Star... for Star we told you about. Well, you better eat it if you plan on making any progress at all. I'm not going to talk to all of the Minish, but I might as well say hi to you. So, you've eaten the Jabbernaut, and now you can understand us. The Elder said that humans can no longer see, it, see us as they once could. It's amazing that you can see us. Yeah, so they don't really have a lot to say. Um, there aren't any sort of side quests we can do here. But, we are going to... Oh, no. Um, okay, his house is a shoe, again, as I said, it doesn't make sense. So, you've eaten the jabbernaut, and now you can understand us. Sorry, but I know letter about swords, I'm sure the elder can help you. Yeah, I mean, I really feel that while this game has the same sort of structure, I guess, as the other Legend of Zelda games, there are... It, it also has its own feel that's that's different than the others. Oh, you speak our language. It's been quite a while since we've heard outsiders speak our tongue. We have little to offer you in these woods, but please enjoy your stay. Thank you for your offer, but we have no time to relax. My name is Ezlo. This child is Link. We need to break a curse that has been cast on the Princess of Hyrule. To do so, we need to reforge the broken Kukuri blade. Ah, yes, and you've come here now hoping to have the blade reforged. Hmm. Well, if that's what you're after, you'll need four mystic elements. These elements are the crystalline forms of the energies of this world. Only by infusing the blade with these energies can a new blade be for forged. Here, give me your map. I can mark where these elements can be found. So yes, there are only four dungeons in this game, but they're pretty they're all pretty good dungeons actually. The earth element can be found in the shrine to the north of Fristari Zabi. Speak with Fristari. He will show you the path to the shrine's entrance. Go with caution. Evil creatures have lately made their home in the shrine. Return to me at once after you have found the earth element. I don't see how the creatures can be evil unless they're sentient. You wish to go to the shrine? Very well, this way. Wow, beasts have settled in recently. Be careful, it is quite dangerous. Yes, there are also creatures that wouldn't be dangerous if you're at your normal size, 
Ah, oh, dangerous. At this size. Um, you'll find out. So this would be the deep wood shrine the Minnesota Elder spoke of. He said something about there being monsters inside, didn't he? Uh, he... Hey now, no reason to be afraid or anything. I'll be waiting right here. No, wait, what am I saying? I'm not letting you leave me alone out here. So yes, I I don't know if this is where uh, Link got his hat. But if it is, that means that all the other Legends of Zelda games will probably take place after this one. There's a dark door here, see if you can find a key to open it. What like the key we just found? Do you see that lever? I think you should be able to pull it. Just stand in front of it and press R to grab it and then press down to pull. So yeah, this sort of suffers from um first dungeon syndrome so um, it's just sort of an introduction to the game oh you'll you'll pay for that yeah an introduction to the to how things work so for that reason it's not the best dungeon here but I can't think I don't think any of the Legend of Zelda games have a uh, that their, their, uh, their first dungeon is the best one. Hey, look at the size of that bowl. Hmm. Oh, right. Right, how silly of me. It's not big, we're just small. Yeah, you can't kill those things. Okay, there has to be... Oh, yeah, I remember. So, yes, we're going to make use of that, uh, that particular game mechanic. Quite a lot in this uh, dungeon. Oh, sugar. Sorry about that. What I meant to do was this. Be careful, my lad. The bow just moved. Yep, and that is going to be pretty helpful, actually. Because we can do that. But we can't do that. Now, this is a way to get to here. It is also possible to get further than that. But we'll go through this way for now. we need now is something to hold down the switch. What you mean like this? This thing in front of us, this here. Ah, 
Unfortunately, I think those we set uh, when we go back in there, which is annoying, but um, once you take hold of something with this, use this to push a bullet. It's extremely important, so I hope you take pains to remember it. Yep. See, those, those have reset, but this is, this bridge is still here. Now we go further up. Hoping to find a heart piece in there. Of course, there's one over there. Alright, so let's look at that, shall we? So, this, this is the one that we're in. As you can see, some of those are darker than others. If you do want to get rid of those things, you can do that. This works. Fortunately, we need another key. And also, apparently, we can't get in there yet. Now there's a puzzler. I suspect there's not much more we can do right now. Let's press on. Perhaps we can work this from another angle later on. Uh, I think he probably means the... Um, yeah, I think he probably means the um, chest. But I do think we can get that thing. Oh, 
Right, so there were two chests in this area, but we know where one of them is. I'm not necessarily going to get everything. If it looks like it's going to be quite hard for me to get the thing, um, I probably won't. being up there. to approach it from the sun. See, I don't see how these creatures can be evil, they're just slugs. So if I'm right, the place where we needed the key was up here. Ah. Yeah, you have to go to its nose and then... But it does start doing that after a while. It's just surprising. You have to get the nose. Then you have to get the tail. I think this goes to somewhere where I've already been before, but 
where we need, really need to get to, I think, is that bowel. Hmm. Although, if there's anything like that, it would be good to be able to find it. But for now, I think I'm going to try to get back to the bowel. Now then. I know this seems like a terrible idea. But um, actually we do end up here, which is quite a helpful place to be. Now what? Unless we find a way to travel by water, we won't be going much further. Well, there is a way to travel by water. That wasn't the most exciting thing to watch. Um. But it's something that we needed to do. And I'm going to end the episode there. I will see you next time.